Hey guys, welcome back to my video and I'm here with a new video for you guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about radio frequency devices and their various usages in day-to-day -day life. So what is a radio frequency device? A radio frequency device is a device that sends radio frequency signals and can also receive radio frequency signals. This can also be commonly known as a transceiver because having the ability to send and receive radio frequency signals. So this specific radio frequency device is active radio frequency device, meaning this radio frequency device has its own power source, which is the Raspberry Pi in this case. And what does a passive re passive radio frequency device look like? Over here I have a ra passive radio frequency device. This radio frequency device has no power source of its own. Instead, it harnesses the radio frequency signals coming from this one and uses it to power up its own circuit to send back uh, its radio frequency signal. This is the difference between an active and passive radio frequency devices. So one thing about these passive radio frequency devices is that each radio passive radio frequency device has its own unique card ID. You will never find us you will never find a passive radio frequency device with the same card ID as this one. That's the uniqueness of these passive card, card, passive radio frequency devices. So, but there is one thing you can change. You can change the card description in these radio frequency devices. By writing into these cards, you can change the description inside of these radio frequency devices. So when it sends back a signal to an active radio frequency device, it can, it can, the active radio frequency device can translate that description and perform various tasks. So now let's see what actually goes on in the background. So over here, I've connected the master input slave output and master output slave input ports to Raspberry Pi input ports. These input ports will allow me to communicate with this, ra with this radio frequency device and allow me to perform different tasks. And I've connected a ground and two voltage ports to supply the supply power to this radio frequency device. So this is basic. So this is what uh, this is what the difference between an active and passive radio frequency devices are, and what a radio frequency devices can do. So one very one way a radio frequency device is used in real life is in a hotel, and this is where I'm gonna. This is what I'm going to show you guys in my next video by by explaining explaining how a person gets a card in a hotel gets and can go to a specific room number and unlock that door with only that card. So basically I'm going to be simulating a person walking into a hotel getting a getting a card with a unique card ID with a card description and showing how only this card can be used to unlock his or her room number in that hotel. Basically that's going to be my next project. So in my next video I'm going to show you how this radio frequency sensor works and the project that I'm going to be doing.